Super tasty glaze, so moist and packed full of flavor. What more do you want out of a meatloaf? Mm. And now we can start basting that meatloaf with our glaze. I love home style comfort food and meatloaf is at the top of that list. Mm. G'day, I'm Chewy. Welcome to Smoked Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be smoking meatloaf. Meatloaf is such a comfort food, and when it is smoked, it makes it so much better. Today, I'm going to be using my Z Grills 700 pellet smoker, and I want to be smoking this meatloaf around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll get it pre-warmed up now, that way we won't be waiting around once that meatloaf is ready to go in. It's easy enough to do, just turn it to the smoke setting and open the lid. And once the smoke settles and we can hear the flames, and we'll just turn the heat dial to our desired temp of 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a blend of cherry pecan and Australian hardwood pellets for today's cook. Now meatloaf can have a tendency of drying out. So, so by whisking together some eggs and adding some milk, we can then soak some panko breadcrumbs in this mixture for about five minutes. Let's make sure you stir it all up so all the breadcrumbs are in the liquid. And this is going to help the meatloaf retain moisture during the cook. Once you learn how to smoke meatloaf, you'll more than likely have it on high rotation in your home. You'll need to start off with some fatty ground beef. To this, we're gonna add diced bacon and onion that have already been fried. Also some chopped garlic, Worcestershire sauce, some tomato paste, some parsley, some dried thyme, and some kosher salt. And lastly, our panko crumb, milk, and egg mix. Now just mix this up, but don't overwork it, or you'll end up with a hard, dense meatloaf. Once our meatloaf is all mixed up, we can transfer that to a chopping board, and we can shape it. Try and make it the same sort of thickness from one end to the other. And once you're happy with it, transfer that to a wire rack on a tray. Now, I prefer to smoke meatloaf on a rack. That way we have more surface area for that smoke to penetrate. And once you're happy with the shape, grab your favorite barbecue rub and just apply it. The good thing about having it on a wire rack, you can tilt it up so you can get the sides with the rub. Spin it around. The other side. Spin it around. Get this end. Spin it around. And get this end. And if you're wondering what rub I'm using, there's a link in the description to the full recipe. Now, as the smoker is already warmed up and ready to go, we can just put the meatloaf straight in and I'm gonna add an internal temp probe. Now, I'll set that internal temp probe to 165 degrees Fahrenheit because that is a safe eating temp of ground meat. All up, this meatloaf is gonna take four to five hours to cook I'll come back and check it around the two hour mark. That's when we're gonna start basting it with some sauce. Now, as we wanna be glazing this meatloaf at the last half of this cook, we can now make a nice, easy basting sauce. Into a saucepan, we can add some ketchup, some maple syrup, some apple cider vinegar, and some brown sugar. Just put this over a low heat, and we're gonna stir it constantly. And it's just until all that sugar dissolves and the sauce thickens up a little. It'll take about maybe five minutes. The meatloaf has been smoking away for two hours now, and internally it's just hit 136 degrees Fahrenheit. So bring the meatloaf out of the smoker just to make things easier. And now we can start basting that meatloaf with our glaze, making sure to get all the sides. Just so you know, this part of the job can be done one-handed. And we'll just keep glazing that about every 30 minutes until we either run out of glaze or the meatloaf is ready. Glazing number two, glazing number three, glazing number four, glazing number five, and I think we're nearly done. The meatloaf has finally reached an internal temp of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can get it out of the smoker now, and I'm gonna transfer it to a chopping board and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. Now that 10 minutes may seem like a lifetime because this smells incredible. And once the 10 minutes are up, we can slice into it, ready for serving. Oh. I love home style comfort food and meatloaf is at the top of that list. Mmm. 
If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website where you'll find a wealth of barbecue information. Cheers and thanks for watching.